Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video and today we're gonna take on uh, the Dullet Exploration. Trust me, this thing is actually really really easy but we're just gonna go over it. Uh, we're gonna bring Squall just for fun because why not? This is the party, basically a lot of 4 stars and of course CG Nicole because he's the best buffer. Uh, Rose as healer, we're gonna bring Rassler as the tank and uh, he's actually not that bad. Uh, we're gonna bring double ash for uh, the damage the chain and if we need to heal also she can break the defense and spirit on the boss which is gonna be pretty useful and uh, hopefully with squall we're gonna be able to cast the limit burst so here's the challenges we need to do as i'm looking them online right here uh so complete the quest no items evoke an esper and finish the boss uh x whatever with a limit burst so Here's the way it's gonna work. We're gonna skip this because we don't we don't need to uh, talk about all that thing. Uh, I think you're gonna fight the boss three times at first. So as you're fighting him, he's just gonna get stronger and stronger. So right here, we're gonna get the first fight. So he's gonna show up out of nowhere. Let's put some volume in here. He's gonna show up out of nowhere, and uh, he's actually pretty pretty easy on uh, this part. So we're gonna, just gonna do this right here. All right. So we're gonna bring double ash. We're gonna do Swords of Kings just for fun. So that first part is actually really really easy. We're just gonna do this in case and with my best friend Rosa we're just gonna cast Bless just in case we take a little bit more turns than we should. And sorry and CJ Nicole basically just buff everything up and you my friend we're gonna see if uh, you can just finish the job nice and quick. So we're gonna do this get the chain going and we're just gonna hit in the middle of it, see if we can do a little bit of damage. Of course we did. So bam, he's out. So first fight is done. Really easy. I'm telling you guys, it's so simple. Especially if you guys have Olive, 7 star, it's gonna be such a joke. Or if you have um, Eileen, uh, she has a machine killer. Any type of machine killers, you're gonna do even more damage. And now we're gonna fight him a second time. So he's mad. Oh my god, he jumped over us. What's gonna happen? Of course, he's gonna be in front of us. Uh, also, double CG Sakura is really, really useful. Another way you can build your ashes or uh, any type of character that does a lot of lightning damage. Uh, build them with a lot of magic and just use Tandaja. So the more you're gonna use it, the more damage you're gonna be able to do. So we're just gonna, you know, do the same thing. We're gonna see if we can kill him the same way since he got a little bit stronger than before. And can we do the, yeah, of course, of course. Thank you Squall for that big damage. So all we're trying to do right now is build up maybe our limit uh, limit burst gauge, our Esper gauge, and all this cool stuff. So we're gonna keep going forward. We're lucky, we're doing no fights. You guys might fight some uh, of uh, some units during this, which they're actually really, really easy. And uh, what's fun with um, Ash, actually, they're uh, Evan's Wrath deals a lot of damage to all enemies so if you're gonna be fighting multiple enemies they can just kill them really fast uh, Evan's Fury not Evan's Wrath wrong game uh, Evan's Fury actually sorry about that so we're gonna do the third fight same thing we're gonna buff everybody up we're gonna do this and uh, hopefully we can get that Esper gauge up so let's see if we don't kill him first turn go for it squall just do the big thing there you go thank you Really easy to chain these two characters, they're actually pretty good. So we have no luck with our limit burst, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the last fight's gonna take a little bit longer. And if you guys have encounters, uh, you're gonna be able to build your stuff a little bit faster also. So, abandon, yes. Oh no, he's coming again. Bam. Let's fight him one more time. So this time, he's gonna be a little bit harder, uh, but he's not invincible, trust me. So we're gonna go right here. Same thing with uh, Nicole. We're gonna need some MP after because we've been using our MP a lot. Rassler is gonna cover for everybody. Rosa is gonna do this. What I'm gonna do with the ashes, I'm actually gonna break the defense spirit in right here. Uh, is there anything I could do with this guy? We could do a little bit of damage just uh, to build up some of the stuff right here. We're gonna do, uh, actually, no. We're gonna go Renzo Kuken. And we're gonna do some Thunder Barret. Do a lot of damage. Bam, bam. If you have double him, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. And we got our Esper Gauge, so why not use it right now? That's going to be one thing. 
the last one would be beating him with a limit burst, which uh, perfect. Our boy Squall has it, so that's gonna be number one. Uh, he dies, doesn't matter, because he's gonna be dead right now. Like I told you guys, a really, really easy fight. We're gonna do a Sword of Kings, Sword of Kings, and we're just gonna cast this limit burst. We're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go like this, and Squall should get the job done. So really, really easy fight, guys. It's only 20 energy. Uh, you can literally one turn kill him, nice and easy. Uh, I just wanted to bring some, you know, units we don't see that often. Rosa, especially now that um, more seven stars are going to be showing up. Uh, Ashes are really good. Siege Nicole, of course, is the best. And Rassler, sorry, my dude, you're just, you're just laying down there on the floor dead. But that was the fight. Really simple, like I said. Uh, just break his defense and spirit. Break his attack if you need to, because he's going to do some physical, uh, physical attack. He's also, if the fight goes a little bit longer, he's also going to break your defense and uh, spirit and attack. So if you have CG Nicole, just use this limit burst. You're going to be able to take out those debuffs on your party and do even more damage. But here we, see, you guys saw it. Really easy fight. Uh, if you have better units bring them you're gonna kill him even faster than what i just did and uh yeah we did everything if i'm not mistaken we completed the quest no items we evoked jesper and we finished the boss with a limit burst so guys let me know down below how did you beat him uh what characters did you bring if you brought only one character because i've seen some builds where people just bring one lightning with 100 percent evade and she basically wrecks the boss. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.